RTO here. Welcome to a new album review and this one I've been looking forward to and I was looking forward to this album when they announced it a long while ago. And we're talking about Sparks. This is one of these bands, although they're American, they're very British. Um, led of course by Ron and Russell Mail. Now I was shocked to find out how old these guys are. Russell Mail is now 74 and Ron is 77 and he still gets up on stage and does his silly dances. Um, so their new album that came out on May the 26th, it's their 25th album so this is a major celebration and the album is called The Girl He's Crying In Her Latte. Great um, title as ever from Sparks. So performing on here with um, Russell and Ron, uh, the, ba the band, their band, and this band have been together for a little while now and they are absolutely brilliant. Um, we've got Max Whipple on the bass, Steve Nistor on drums, great drummer, Eli Pearl on guitar, and Evan Weiss on guitar as well. Good band, uh, and they play that, I've seen that when they've done a lot of the hits in concerts and they're very very good so the first track on here is the title track the girl is crying in a latte now I heard this a while ago when they released it and I thought wow catchy typical sort of um, spark song funny words uh, the keyboard work from Ron is fantastic they're using the, the technology right and it's a perfect tune I really like that track then we get Veronica Lake the second track again catchy straight away that catchy hook it's what you expect from uh, this band and Russell's vocals sound fantastic this guy is 74 and he's singing no different than he did in angst in your pants or made in heaven number one in heaven album is just brilliant what a vocalist what a what a trooper absolutely brilliant track that is um then we get my favorite track on this album already nothing is as good as start again Ian. nothing is as good as they say it is there's some great guitar work between eli and um, Evan on this the drumming from Steve is solid and then you get that lovely keyboard sequencing from Ron this guy is an amazing and he's very particular and molecular about what he does it's absolutely brilliant track and it amazes me how he comes up with these interesting tunes tunes escalator comes next again Ron does a, as I said he amazes me the sampling sounds and they all sound good fantastic trick tune and it's a great track then we get the Mona Lisa's packing leaving late tonight everything on here is quirky the drums sound good from Steve Russell sounds great on this again the vocal is really strong then we get you weren't meant for me This is the one I'm not as the tunes quirky, the drums are good, but I think Russell's vocals are a little bit I don't know. I don't know if it's intended to be like this. You just don't know with sparks. But it just sounds a little bit off kilter. Then we get not not that well defined. Second favourite truck on here. Uh I think it's Ron's wonderful keyboard runs in this is wonderful then you get that lovely vocal from Russell it's just a fantastic track uh, then we get we go dancing again orchestral sounds sounds like there's a full-blown orchestra in this uh, it's catchy catchy hooks uh, great chorus very well put together it's a fantastic track I, I can't not praise this album um, then we get when you leave good track again it's just got there's so many good 
catchy tunes on this. A great arrangement, great vocal, great playing from the band, absolutely terrific. Then we get Take Me for the for a Ride. At the start of this, you get like a musical back sign, and then you get a lovely keyboard run from Ron. And then in comes the dramatics, the orchestra sound, the big brassy sound. Ah, and then Ron, I mean Russell, comes in with a wonderful vocal. Um, really good. Now then we then we get It's Sunny Today. Uh, this sounds like a string quartet. As uh, a wonderful vocal from Russell, probably one of his best on the album. A love story. Now this is the one track on the album that I'm not very keen on. I just don't know what. It just doesn't appeal to me. This one. I don't know why, but we can't like everything, can we? Then we get it doesn't have to be that way. Some great guitar work on this. Uh, some lovely little tones on the keyboards as well. Brilliant track. Then the last track is called Gee, That Was Fun. I wouldn't say it's the best on the album, but it's still a good listen. It's quite quirky. It's one of them curveball sparks tracks. But what? <laughs> when you listen to it. But I think it was just, I mean, it's obviously they had a lot of fun recording this album. So it's its a really quirky, silly track, but <laughs> that's Sparks, isn't it? We wouldn't have, it wouldn't be Sparks without some of that sort of stuff. Okay. A, a brand new album from Sparks is far and few these days, but they delivered again. Um, it's quirky, a pop album with a twist. It's got lots of the traits of spark sounds that we just love. You just cannot dislike this band. Um, every album, there's always something there for everyone. I mean, Sparks is my guilty pleasure band. Um, I've been following them literally from day one. When I first saw them on top of the pops with this town ain't big enough for the both of us, it was. Just, I, I just think it's so catchy. Um, Again, it's amazing that they're both in their 70s and they're still producing such fine music. I think this will be very well featured in the end of the year. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8.5. So there we go. Um, that's all for today. But I will be back tomorrow with Richard um, Cook and we'll be doing... Um, some more top tens and we're doing this number two songs of our favorites from the 1970s and if you were watching the live stream last night Richard has already done the 60s and the 90s <laughs> so I've got some catch-up to do okay um, that's all for today um, looks like it's gonna be a nice day if you're in the UK do take care. We're not used to some heat waves, are we? So take care, everyone. Look after your pets. And I will see you tomorrow when uh, there'll be me and Richard. Bye for now.